What's good, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video. As always, it's your boy Bobby back again, man. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Real quick, before I get started, I want to say thank you to everybody that supported on that last vlog, that day in the life video. I really appreciate all the kind things you guys have been saying. It means a lot that I can, you know, do whatever kind of video I want to do and, and you guys be able to enjoy. One of you bros commented in that video that you wanted to see basically like a grocery list of what I buy and what I eat throughout the week. The reason why I titled this video the way that I did is because this is like a super low budget meal and it's gonna allow you to build muscle, lose fat, and uh, get lean but still be able to put on some muscle if that's your goal. At least that's what's been happening to me and my body and what I've noticed over the you know course of a few months. A really good meal plan for you to follow. It's cheap, it's easy, and it doesn't take a lot of time and effort and you can do it for a really decent price so we're gonna go over what i bought real quick i'm gonna be making some of the food today like right now in this video some of the other stuff i'm not gonna be able to show you guys because i'm gonna be making later on in the day and i'll explain why once we get into it so first of all let's show you what i got i bought mostly everything today um there was like maybe three or four items that i didn't buy today because I already had in my kitchen but here let me show you guys real quick what i have now for the main meal, I usually buy two of these, but this week I decided to change it up a little bit because I was getting kind of bored of eating the same thing like chicken and rice and vegetables every single week. So I switched it up and I got some pink salmon with one chicken. Usually I have two. I try to have a pound of chicken a day. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's, you know, you need the protein if you want to put on muscle. As a carb source, I have brown basmati rice. Sometimes regular brown rice and sometimes white rice. I try to avoid the white rice because, you know, brown rice is just, you know, more nutritional, has better nutrients for you. So I try to avoid white rice as much as possible, but sometimes I'll have white rice. So this is one meal, this and this with vegetables as well. So this is like my heavy lunch. I have uh, ground turkey. I have about three pounds of ground turkey with and I have that with these uh, bonza uh, chickpea pasta that's low in carb and it's high in protein so one serving has 25 grams of protein and 13 grams of fiber so it keeps the carbs pretty low I have two packets of those for the whole week and I also add some salsa uh, this I don't really measure out because uh, the calories are a little, I guess, insignificant. Uh, but this is like one meal right here. And with that, I also add some add some Parmesan cheese to this. So this is like one meal right here. Uh, the Parmesan cheese, you know, I don't go crazy. I add a little bit. Uh, so the calories is also insignificant in this. This is usually dinner because it's a lighter meal. So this is like my night snack. Depending on how I'm feeling, I'll have one to two servings of peanut butter with one to two rice cakes. I like the flavored one, caramel uh, corn rice cakes. It's pretty low in carbs. It's only 50 calories for one, so it's really not bad uh, as like a dessert. And it tastes really good when you have it with peanut butter. In between my dinner and my lunch i'll have a snack so this is what i didn't buy because i already had it in the house and i'll explain everything and how how much everything costs but this i already had in my house this is my um cashew go lean cereal it's really high in protein has 11 grams per serving with one one kind of fruit most of the time i'll go with blueberries because of the nutritional facts in it but i've been having bananas because I don't know, I, I really enjoy bananas with cereal. And I have that usually with almond milk because of, you know, it's very low in calories. It doesn't have a lot of fat like regular milk does. And then this is just a bag of vegetables that I got at Costco. This will probably last you like maybe one to two months, honestly. So this wasn't added into the budget, but let's go over how much all of this stuff cost me. All right, so at ShopRite, we got the Bonza chickpea pasta and we got the rotisserie chicken and that came out to uh, we'll just round it up to ten dollars and then this one is from Aldi this is where I usually get most of my stuff I got the ground turkey two of them I got the pasta sauce the rice the salmon and peanut butter and basmati rice and that came out to $23 which is insane this is why I love Aldi if you guys have an Aldi around you 
definitely go to Aldi because their prices are ridiculous. The grand total of this stuff on the table right now is $33. And that's that's crazy. That's like, they're cheap. If we were to add on all these things, maybe anywhere from $40 to $50 a month for six days right here. The reason I only do six days is because I like to have one day where I can eat, you know, whatever I really want to eat and that kind of helps me stay focused throughout the week because i know it's hard like eating the same foods every single day for like six days i know it's hard so i like to give myself a rest day where i can you know have real food and uh, and have something different and uh, and really mix it up so i can try to stay motivated and uh, and still be able to enjoy foods that i like i hope that makes sense where i got this meal plan from is um remington i think is his name i don't remember he's a youtuber and a fitness uh guru or whatever and i've been sticking to it because it's pretty simple it's really easy it doesn't take a lot of time it doesn't take a lot of effort and it's really cheap obviously it's not exactly the same as his uh and i didn't include the protein uh, in this just because some people don't they don't want to be drinking protein and I totally understand so I have about two scoops of protein a day or I try to sometimes I'll miss here and there as long as you're hitting your goals for the week and your macros and your calories you should be good this is roughly around anywhere from 19 to 2100 calories I'm five seven and I weigh about 159, 160 sometimes, depending. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I know that this video was me really just talking a lot about what I eat and stuff like that and how much all of this costs. But I'll show you guys some footage of me preparing some of the food. Like I said, the brown rice, we probably won't cook here because I bought a pressure cooker with my girlfriend and it's at her house. And I'd much rather use that to cook this. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, but everything else, I can cook the pasta, I can, you know, sample out the, the chicken, I can take out the chicken and then um, cook the vegetables and probably cook that salmon. First time actually that I'm cooking salmon, so it should be interesting. Um, but any questions, leave them down in the comment section. If you guys like this video, leave it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And, uh, and yeah, let's, let's get into it. Alright guys, I think I'm going to close the video out there. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to show you guys too much of the cooking process. Uh, we have the ground turkey cooking right now. We have the pasta already out. And now uh, we have the chicken. The fish is underneath there somewhere. We got the vegetables and stuff like that. And then I'm just going to pour this salsa on top of the pasta. But uh, yeah, man, see, it's, it's really not that hard. The brown rice, like I said, we're going to be cooking later, so I'm not going to show you that. Definitely recommend this, so give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.